Last episode, I upset and and very much brought shame to myself by attempting to offer to sell Igor Throog to a passing group of traders. I was never going to do it, but I feel that it it was it was a sign of disrespect to our our holy lord and savior Igor. So I I apologize for that. It will never happen again. And to make it up to you guys, I'm going to look watch the video back. I'm going to find out whatever faction that was. And to show them the true price of Throog, we're going to capture them, we're going to bring them to base, we're going to grind them up, we're going to turn them into more Eagle Throogs. I hope that the, uh, I hope that the template sticks around. I hope it's not just single use, otherwise we'll have to clone her and then take the template from another clone. Or, I suppose what we could do is, 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 I think you can sequence living people's genomes, right? So we'll create the clone and that'll be the master eagle and then all clones will come off of that one because we don't want to keep diluting it down. We don't want to like clone clones. Otherwise, well, I think, you know, that's going to end uh, end up in a lot of, uh, what's the word? Sort of like genetic corruption, I guess. I don't think it'll be pure eagle. That's what I'm getting at. So today's episode, we're finishing this base. Uh, speaking of which, Donitz is already on it. We're going to finish this base, because honestly, I've wasted a lot of time the past few days just sort of uh, going on adventures, having fun times. Rimworld isn't about having fun. Rimworld is about horrific genetic mutation, war crimes, questionable ethics, that type of thing. Um, which is going to be, ironically enough, the mod that we're using to clone Eagle. So this guy is down to 11.1. Oh, oh, sorry, she. Uh, Vivian. A uh, guy is universal, right? It's, it, it's, uh, it's non-gendered. 12 intellectuals, so when we get you up, you're just going to be researching all day constantly to get that geothermal power that we're after. She'll be in charge of just researching everything. Donitz can run the colony, although he is primarily a researcher right now, his skills are needed elsewhere. We've also got Nuik. Nuik is doing what exactly? Hauling Wag to stockpile 2? Just going around the map trying to find like a bunch of dead creatures. Oh, we get, okay, we've got another trader here. Um, okay, let's take a look. Trade with Cobra? Pelt trader? So they might actually pay more for our skins. I'm quite happy to do that. Um, the Arctic Lion Fur we absolutely want to keep because that stuff is really insulating. That stuff is crappy. So get rid of the bear skin. What about the fox fur? Also kind of crappy. Get rid of the fox fur. Um, raptor leather. Kind of crappy, but I'd like to have a, a raptor leather doormat, I guess. What did we get a lot of last time? Uh, that was a Galatross leather. That's much better. Look at the insulation there. That's, that's really, really cool. I like that. Proves, uh, where is minimum comfortable temperature when warm? That's so good. Wow. Okay. So, let's leave that as it is, because I feel like that's fine. We've got plenty of meat. Um, I do want to keep some behind so we can build doormats, like I said, that type of thing. We're selling the smoke leaf, because that's a recipe for disaster. We'll just take the steel. We'll just take the steel and, and start trading up for the, uh... Oh, it's a Purple Lagoon tribe. We're, we're pretty good friends with them now. A sheriff named Lenin. Oh, my God. Donitz and Lenin, together till the end. Unbelievable. Calls to you from nearby. He's being chased by Outlanders. He's 47 years old, but there's no time to collect more information. All right. He's being chased by a town councilman, three town guards, and a villager. Off for safety. Hello, Lenin. You look a little bit different to what I remember. Lenin Valdemar. Welcome. Melee of 11. Medical of 10. That's pretty decent. Um, you know what? I, I, even though there's a screen, I do find it a lot easier to look down this list to sort of get a really good idea for it. Brawler. Body purist. You're not going to like it here, my friend. And gay. Okay, fine. Uh, 11 melee is obviously very good. Medical of 10, though. That, that's, that's really what we're after here. That's fine. Welcome, Lenin. Uh, join the colony, my friend. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell am I doing taking on that many people at once? What we're going to do is the classic misc uh, trading spot and put it wherever the hell the raid turns up. Where's the raid? There they are. All right. And then we put the trading spot over there and then we watch as the raiders fight the traders. It's genius. It's such a good plan. Uh, you know what? In fact, they're, they're probably not going to get here in time. So we're just going to leave that there. Kill one another. Yes. Fight for your king. Fight for Igor. Who's still alive? Go and hunt them down. Oh, what the hell are they shooting? Why are they shooting that thing? Oh, Tame Critter the Purple Lagoon Tribe. Go and defend your Tame Critter. Um, hang on, we need to we need to direct the AI around a little bit more. This is very much like just abusing game mechanics, isn't it? This is like massively abusing the mechanics. Problem solved. Look at that. Not only that, but we've got ourselves plenty of goddamn loot. So what do we get there? Uh, we've got ourselves an auto pistol. Not ideal. We've got ourselves a shotgun. That's pretty good. A bow and arrow, right? And some pemmican, obviously, from when that guy's died. We got ourselves another revolver. And what, what did you... Oh, nice. Machine pistol. That's really, really good to see. Lenin, uh, were you incapable of violent? Did I re see that right? No, no, no. You're fine. Okay, go and grab that. Oh, he's a brawler. Shit. No, that's what I was thinking of. Um, You go and grab that then. Wait, you're also a brawler? Oh my god, they are. I think last episode I said five marshal instead of melee. Look, when you play CK2 for six hours a day, that's, that sort of comes as part of it. All right. Well, that's fine. You know what? That was good. Did we knock anyone out? Or did they all actually just straight up die? Okay, they all straight up die. That's a little bit of a shame. 
Go Frenzy. That's really good. She'll move faster for the next few days. We should probably get them building then and hauling blocks over. Um, right. I've got some scheduled to set up. And we're going to need some more beds because we really don't have enough right now. Um, that's a lot of bedrooms I'm going to build. God damn it. You people suck. All right. Uh, just do that for now. Don it. Go, go ahead and build some beds before they start complaining at me. Um, oh, we need more limestone blocks. Shit. All right. Uh, let's go bills. Make limestone blocks. We're using these for furniture, so I, I won't make too many of these. We'll just make, like, uh, won't make too many, says. Queuing up 2,000. No, uh, no, no, no. How do I increase it by 10? Oh, we're automatically increase it by 20, sure. We'll just make, like, a, like, like 100. Um, and then we'll say, pause when satisfied. Drop on the floor. Yeah, that, that should be good, right? I did make that stockpile, and then on pause when we've only got 20 left. Right, uh, who had the GoFriends? It was Nick, right? Hey, no, Ick, go and cut me some limestone blocks, if you don't mind. Oh, hang on, we need to expand this area, otherwise it will just keep going forever. All right. Stone cutting skill, fairly low, it would look like, or at least their crafting skill is fairly low, because that's taken them quite a while. Alright though, that's really, really good. We can build some beds now, plenty of colonists, let's set the schedule up. So, um, obviously everyone's a firefighter, that's fine by me. Um, we've honestly got some pretty decent doctors here. In fact, I'm going to set you boys to backup doctors. Let's set them to priority three. And then um, that way, it also allows us to set them to self-tend as well, just in case we're really in a struggle. Um, finishing, it can be quite high. We'll get rid of those. Everyone should be able to do that. I should I should really make that higher priority. Same with basic. Um, hauling, we're going to get everybody but Donuts to do that. For hopefully obvious reasons. We'll turn that off. Bed resters, again, should be maximum at all times. Okay, kind of liking that. That I'm going to set to maximum. Same with that one. The vats are the cloning vats. We need uh, researchers and doctors to maintain those. So those I'm going to set to maximum. Hacking, sure, that can be maximum as well. Right, um, rearming refuel is irrelevant. Let's see, what are you good at? And we'll start with Lenin. Not a lot. Good with drugs, right, of course. Um, fairly okay at research. We might just need to be another research. They've got a small passion for it, so that might have to do, unfortunately. Uh, besides that, you can deliver. That's fine. Um, no problem with deliveries being made. I'll also get you to, I don't know, grow some crops. You are capable of that, so that's pretty high priority, I'd say. Have you... Yeah, you can, you can grow the crops. That's good. Grow the crops. If you can't grow the crops, deliver goods. Set those to maximum for everybody. As it should be. Um, drugs are irrelevant for now. Um, mining. I'm going to put a three in mining for both of them. Mainly because mining isn't too high priority. If we need something mined urgently, I'll, I'll actually specify someone to do that. Um, you know what? Honestly, that's good. I feel like that's fine. Hunting should always be a number one in everything. Oh, hang on. No, they're brawlers. Okay, that's irrelevant for them as well. That's fine. Honestly, that's absolutely fine. I don't need to do anything else with that. I'm also going to make Sedini a builder. She has seven construction, which I didn't realize, which is obviously very, very useful, uh, especially when building just, like, walls and crap, because, you know, the, the chance to fail is quite low at that stage. Plus, it doesn't require, you know, it's not going to affect the quality of the walls. I mean, walls are walls, right? You know, we could go ahead and cancel some of these, because we've got to build doors as well. So we're going to have to build so many more bedrooms, you fuckers. All right, uh, what I'll do then is expand this out. Yeah, okay, I have an idea. Right, let, let's do this. Let's go blueprints. Let's create a blueprint. Just copy that out. Yep. Just make sure it's all the same size. We'll put another one there and another one there. Then what I'll do is we'll cancel this here. And we'll instead... So I'll destroy this wall as well. You're going to have to bear with me a minute. I'm having to sort of plan on the fly here. Um, oh, shit. That's annoying. We can't build walls there if I do that. Um, also, can't build walls there. Oh, man. That's, that's like insanely annoying. Okay. Ah. Uh, well, I'll have to then. Okay, ignore that, what I've asked you to do. Let's instead cancel this. Go back to blueprints. Let's put one... Okay, we can just about fit one there. Fit one... Oh, man, we can't fit one there because of the goddamn water. Fuck's sake. Ah, uh, I did want this for the residential area. We'll just have to build bedrooms elsewhere, honestly. Right, let's go blueprint one. We'll put another bedroom there. And we'll put another bedroom... I don't know, there? It's a bit of a weird setup. It's, like, really space inefficient as well. It's because I'm trying for them not to just be, like, perfectly square rooms because I'm really starting to hate that style. Um, oh, look at this state as well. Unbelievable. The, the absolute state of it. Right. I will get the hang of this eventually. Don't worry. Okay, blueprint. One by... How has that happened? Oh, right, because I, I placed that one too low. I see what happened there. All right. There we go. Let's try that. Um, honestly, uh, I mean, this was supposed to be the freezer, wasn't it? The outside freezer. Cancel that. Cancel all of this. Sorry, I'm making like Sidney do all this work again. We'll do that instead. It's not nice to look at, but it's going to be kind of an interesting layout for once rather than just being more and more boxes, which I think would be quite kind of nice. Now, all right, what I'm, I'm going to do then, we'll, we'll also do that to there. We'll remove this stuff here. Get rid of that because we've already got an external wall at that stage. Why did that remove there? No, don't do that. Right, select similar. Let's get rid of these. 
Okay, so there we go. So that's going to look like like that. Okay, fair enough. These doors can all lead to there. This could be the, the dining room. Right, this is the dining room kitchen area. Okay. Freezer, instead, is going to be more like... More like this. It's kind of going to be kind of large, but I feel like it's definitely worthwhile. Man, I bet you guys are loving me planning out all these buildings, eh? Just like every episode, trying to decide what, how I'm going to do this. But I, I, want, I want you guys to see it so you guys can complain if I do it wrong. Okay, there we go. That's going to look fine. Again, I don't want any more square buildings. I always fall into the trap of building square buildings, where I feel like this all looks so much nicer. What we're going to do then, let's just get everybody on construction, deconstruction. Um, just because I want it done a lot quicker than we're moving at right now. Oh, second to our own low mail. That's a little bit annoying. Um, okay, you guys need some schedules too. So there you go. You enjoy You enjoy that. All right. Um, and preferably, just put everyone on highest construction. Although they will fuck that up though, won't they? So you two definitely can't. Three out of 20, not ideal. But honestly, I just want this space to be built as soon as possible so we can move in and start work. Ah, oh, there we go. That's looking so much nicer. The work has begun. All right, so by the end of this episode, hopefully this whole base can be finished. Not the, not the whole base, but the, the living area can be finished. We also need quite a large storage area. I might even use the bottom of this area here just to, just for storage. So kind of like do a big line across it like that. Won't do it for now, because obviously we've got to, you know, actually build the place up for first before we do that. Hello, dinosaur. Are you joining us in our base? You, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it, friend. You are gonna get, you are gonna get doctor granted. You're gonna, you're gonna get cloned. Lenin, come on. Lenin is apparently freezing to death. He's got hypothermia. All right. So what we need to do then is, yeah, need warm clothes. No shit. Right. Let's make some Parkers. Uh, these are the Parker. These are the. That was a really bad impression. Holy shit. I could do that better. Hang on. Uh, give, give me a minute or two. Uh, Parker is for staying safe in cold weather. Makes sense. I, I I knew that already, but I just wanted to double check that I wasn't going insane. Right, okay, I'll just make as many of those as we can make. Make make toques as well. Um, everybody needs a toque, actually. So let's go ahead and make uh, five of those. Then if we've got enough left, make parks as well. Who's our tailor? Uh, you have 12. You have 10. Okay, let's take you off of that then for now, just to make sure that, that uh, Sidini's going to be doing that. In fact, Sidini, can you do that right now for me? Oh, God, here we go. A man-hunting mega louse. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, it's, it's only one of them, but I'm really not a fan of that. Okay, um... Right. Team. Uh, by which I mean... Anybody with a gun? You two. Okay, you two. Go and hunt this mega louse. Make sure it's not gonna take us out here. Where is it? Okay, here it comes. Uh, or, or not. Here it comes. Nice. Good work, team. Take the day off. Go, go back to bed is what I'm getting at. Right, how, how are the toots coming along? Because we need those as soon as possible. Because basically what's happening is that they're obviously walking all the way through this freezing temperature to go to somewhere that is still freezing. Um, and it's really taken them a lot of time because of the whole hypothermia thing. So this will not only save us time and effort, but, but this is definitely worthwhile, I'd say. Um, where, where did that go? Did you put it in storage? No, 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 no storage. No, no putting them in here. I don't think they can get it from there. Okay, there we go. Lenin put on his... Uh, what did he put on there? Galatross leather... Why did we start with the Parkers? Why did... Why did you start with the Parkers? Making park? Why? Any worker? What? That's so strange. I'm... All ingredients available. New recruit. <gasps> Burger. Delicious. Welcome. Uh, Hyperweave Parker of Sunlight. What does that do? Let's take a look. Um, minimum comfortable temperature. Minus 18 degrees. Well, that's really good. Wait. Oh, insulation versus the cold. 52 degrees. That's awesome. All right, fair enough then. That's, that's that's pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna need another bed though. God fucking damn it! All right, um, I'm sure we've got plenty of uh, limestone at this stage. This is getting a little bit crowded. We need this new base build as soon as possible. Uh, Donuts, if you want to get to work on that, my friend, this will, this will build by itself. You know what? Everybody's working on this area. Donuts can at least work on the important furniture. It shouldn't take too long anyway. They're delivering, but they're not actually building. Maybe I should just have them. Oh, those are the ones that I don't want to construct. So you've only got Sidini and Donuts building right now. Shall I do the whole lot and just risk the failure state? I mean, it will spill, speed things up, but it'll also waste a lot of resources. But I think in the long term, it will just be a lot quicker. Or it'll be done a lot sooner. I, okay, I definitely don't want you to do it, because you've got zero skill. What about you? You've also got zero skill. Okay, fine. We'll just have you do it extra as well, then. Why not? To be fair, though, look at the amount of really great researchers we've got for Gym Court. This is what we need. We've got the whole colony. Stop with everybody but... Uh... But, well, the herbalist has decent amount of research, or at least a passion in it. Like, like they might not have decent research to the sheriff, 7 out of 20, uh, just blaze. But they do have a shit ton of passion in it as well, or at least one point of passion in it, which means they'll get a crap ton of XP. This is good. Honestly, we've got all the scientists we need now. I'd actually kind of like some more manual labor guys, you know? Maybe that's what the robots are for. Man, that'd be cool. Like a whole scientist colony, and then they just have the robots doing everything for them. 
We, we're, we're accidentally building the, uh, what is it, from, uh, from Old World Blues, from Fallout New Vegas. Was it the, uh, was it called the Dome? I don't remember. The Big Empty, that was it, the Big Empty. Raiders, they've returned on their, on their elk, on their caribou, sorry. You can, you can tell by the way it's not an elk. Alright, um, Donuts, why are you in there? Donuts, for the love of God. Um, who has guns? So Donuts has a gun. Nick, not Nick, has a gun. Zadini has a gun. Burger, can you equip gun? I, I didn't even check your bio. Hated what type's violent. Oh my god. Really? Oh, they're also a fast learner, so they're going to be an, an incredibly good intellectual. Um, I'm so annoyed. Right, okay. Uh, let's get, was it Well and uh, Lennon with the brawlers? Get a steel club. They, they've got to help out somewhat, right? Um, oh, we sold the other steel clubs. We'll just give you an Eldritch Wooden uh, Iqua. I think is how you say that. Oh, shit. Uh, what have we got? Who's our best shooter? So he's already got a good gun. Nick has 9.5. So Nick is going to get the machine pistol. Sedini, I think a shotgun is a little more useful than a tiny little revolver, my friend. Okay. Where the fuck are they? They're in the middle of the swamp right now. Well, that would do wonders for us. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's have the brawlers back us up. Brawlers, welcome aboard. Let's go up here. All right, let's put you, put you guys there. Those guys can come in and attack if we're threatened, which we definitely are. Oh, God. Okay, lower the speed. We could rush them down with the brawlers, but I'm not a big fan of that. Honestly, we're doing okay. They're missing a lot of shots. Donuts has been hit once. Well has been hit. That looks like kind of a... Oh, in the, in the foot. Okay. This is good. Man, I wish we had a little bit more cover here. Go and hide behind that tree. There we go. That's what I like to see. They're supposedly fleeing, although they weren't moving close to them for a second. Take him out. Come on, kill him. Finish him off. Yes, good. Excellent. We don't need any more characters. We've got six at this point. I can't really sustain what we've got. Hey, that worked out really well. Good work, team. Thank you for turning up, Sidney. Thank, thank you for taking all of about nine years for that one. Um, why didn't you get the shotgun either? They just basically completely ignored me on that, eh? Well, that could have been worse. How are you doing? You're right, Donuts. Um... Cut from some short boat. Yeah, no, I think you'll be absolutely fine. I think there's much cause for concern there. Um, prioritize tending to yourself, though. Thank you. All right, good. Problem solved. And who else do we need? It was you as well. So why is our, why are our doctors not doing anything? Oh, because he's... Wait, no, why is he... Like, look, people are bleeding to death. If you could uh, tend to them, that'd be great. Thank you. I think everyone else is fine, though. All right, we're good. Unhappy nudity. Oh, shit, you haven't got any clothes? Dino Scaly Wool Parker. I imagine you are absolutely freezing to bits. It's almost done. Holy shit. Oh, it's done. It's actually done. Okay, we've got the front door to build, and then the, the residential area. Okay, two more doors, which we I imagine we need a little bit more bamboo for at this point, right? Oh, no, we've got plenty of bamboo. And now I'm also dedicating this entire field to bamboo, because bamboo gives a beauty bonus to any furniture, or even the walls or the floors that's built out. So I'm probably just going to build all the floors out of bamboo as well. Plus, it's so cheap and easy to grow. It's like the miracle crop, to be honest with you. Um, beeswax. Pretty under the basic wax floor. Um, I didn't realize that we could build floors out of beeswax. Oh, it gives one beauty. For sure, bamboo does exactly the same thing, but isn't a massive pain in the ass. Oh, bamboo doesn't give beauty? Really? I've been betrayed. Beeswax, then. Man, beeswax floors look kind of cool as well. I quite like the, uh, I quite like the layout of it. Oh, man, you're getting some weird colours as well. White beeswax would be really nice for the labs. Like that, that hexagonal... Oh, I thought we'd get a preview of it. The hexagonal tiling looks really, really nice. I think that'd be kind of cool in the labs. Um, plus, I imagine, fairly cheap. We need four white beeswax. How the hell do we get white beeswax? That's something we need to look into. For now, we've got the geothermal generator still to do. So after this is done... Sorry? Where did you find that? Pump shotgun? Whose man's is... Where did you find that? <laughs> I found a dinosaur outside. I thought you'd like to eat it. Thanks, Lennon. I don't know who that was, but I'm assuming it was Lennon. Wow. Unbelievable. That's so good. Well, there we go. It's butcher day. Oh, man. we got 600 leather? Uh, we might be hunting some dinosaurs in that case, because holy shit, that's a lot of leather. And there's also a fair few of them kicking around. Man, that's insane. 900, wait, that gives a thousand meat as well. Where do we get gooseberries? <laughs> um, I have no idea what's happening, but everybody's basically going to get all the clothes they could ever want in that case. That's really, really cool. We're all having a party as well. Everybody seems to be getting on quite well. We should probably the, check the social tab eh, and see how they're all doing. They're all really good friends. Like, it looks like they're all really, really good friends here. Okay, Nick and Vivian Berger, not two big friends. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, Sidini, a couple of them are, aren't getting on too well. The more important thing is, everybody likes Donuts. And is there much of a surprise? Oh man, I forgot about Mason, his, his brother. 
hostile. Ted Lonerman's confederation. He's, he's still in prison by them. They recruited him, in fact. Shit. It's a real shame. He was a great guy. You know, turned up in, the, in our hour of need and saved us. We should dismantle this beastwax and build some floors out of it. I didn't realize he gave beauty. That could be pretty good. There's a lot of walls we've got to deconstruct, actually. Wait, is, was there not a, another beeswax building somewhere? Um, I guess not. I might be going dinosaur hunting, though. The fact they give so much food and so much leather is is pretty overpowered. And, you know, with, with a good few hunters, with the whole run and gun thing as well, I don't think they'll threaten us much. I think we could be in a really good scenario. Look at how many meals. 56 lavish meals as well. This colony is... is Doing insanely well. Everybody's insanely happy. We've got a nice building over there. We're not making much progress, but everybody is, is on top of the world right now, as far as I can tell. Right, let's get this roof built as well. We'll start getting some power set up before we truly move into this area. Um, well, they'll, they'll chop this down. Don't worry about that too much. All right, uh, let's go for solar panels. I'd really like that geothermal jenny done. How are we doing? Geothermal... Okay, so th that'll take a while. We've still got a lot more work to do on the base before we're even close to being able to move in. So by the time the floors are in and the furniture's down, we might have finished geothermal. Maybe even advanced geothermal. What do we need for that? It'd be nice if I could see the recipe before I decide whether or not it's worth uh, worth going into it. Advanced uh, geothermal power. Doesn't require much research either, does it? Man, neither does advanced near nuclear power. I might go for both of those and just have the, the power system solved immediately, eh? There's also advanced solar panel, the scalable solar roofs. So we've got a lot of options in terms of the power that we want. Honestly, I was only building by the river so we could get a couple more of these uh, a couple more of these water turbines going. One is broken down, I realize that. We need more components for it, though. This is good. Indoor, minus three. It's colder indoors than it is outside. Understandable, it's not getting any sunlight. That makes sense. We need, um... I think we really need to start working on the on the actual consistency of the rooms now. So let's go bamboo floors, fucking everywhere, because it's really cheap and really easy to make. You know what? Let's just let's just put it like abs absolutely everywhere. It's maybe going to do something different for the uh, for the whole living room, dining room area. But honestly, what's the point? Um, there we go. Oh no no, I put that door on the wrong side, you idiot. Right, build copy, put that there. Uh, delete that. We'll put a wall there instead. Um, in fact, no ick. If you could do me a favor and actually deconstruct that one. Thank you, my friend. Look at that. They're on it immediately. I love it. This is such a good colony. All right, problem solved. Then, for the freezer, it doesn't matter what the floor is. Because, honestly, it doesn't matter whether the raw food is just lying on sand or not, to be honest with you. It's the quality of the actual kitchen itself that only affects the food poisoning levels. This is good. We could have this done in no time. Now, what we need is a decent power supply for it. Speaking of which, how's the research going? It is, is it ticking up? Is someone researching? Um, no, no one is right now. Why not? Uh, what are my researchers up to, then? So, we have... Nick and Burger. So Nick is right now eating a uh, eating a meal. And then what are you doing? Hauling? Hauling? What? Well, rather than researching, I don't know why. Hang on, Nick. Researching is enabled. Oh, but hauling is high priority. Why the hell did I do that? That must have been a misclick because I wouldn't normally do that. I don't know why the hell that would have happened. Lenin, get in some melee practice. Is that increasing his skill? We should really keep an eye on that. See if it is because th these things building them everywhere would be very very useful in that case. In fact, even maybe limiting their recreation to just these would be much more beneficial than otherwise. You know, even some shooting dummies going down as well wouldn't hurt. So, let's go ahead and give these people names. I feel like they've already done enough to be named after one of our previous characters, after after the list I've been given. Let's go for the legendary El Elkip. Welcome. Welcome aboard, Elkip. R welcome, welcome back, Elkip, I should say. Burger, it's an incredible name. Burger, what, what are burgers? Cheap? Plain? Easy to consume. You know, reminds me of all of those things. That's right, it's Dave. Welcome back, Dave. Lenin, uh, classic, great name, obviously, you know, historically relevant. I feel like, instead, we're going to go with uh, Quetlachli, my my patron and uh, tormentor of my vocal cords. Every, on a, on a mul multiple times a day, when I try and pronounce that name, Quetlachli. My, look, I'm just saying, my Meso American is really not up to standards. A group of Yorkshire Terriers, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. Probably abandoned, they're Yorkshire Terriers. Oh my fuck! a group? A group? That's a herd. That's a parliament of Yorkshire Terriers, including everyone's favourite. Mindy, and Fissa, Kate, Dawn, Zoya, Elvira, Elvira? <laughs> Mozzie, Presso, the Elvira? What the hell is going on here? Um, what can we train them to do? Nothing, because they're fucking Yorkshire Terriers. Absolutely useless things. Um... Yeah. I, I don't think I want to be feeding 10 different Yorkshire Terriers. I think the best thing we could do with them is probably just sell them all. Because that is a lot of extra mouths to feed that, I, that are really giving back nothing. Oh, look at that. It's like yin and yang. They're really giving nothing back to the colony whatsoever. 
re-enable the trade beacon. I, I would like to sell some Yorkshire Terriers, please. The puppy farm is, is good and all, but uh, I, I'm really not interested in uh, breeding Yorkshire Terriers for a living. Can you turn that on? Why is no one... Uh, somebody... Somebody turn on this, uh, wait, hang on. Did I not toggle it? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's my, it's my own fault. There we go. All right, are there any ships nearby? Butcher, yes, welcome. Butcher, please, take my Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not my balls. I need those. <laughs> I'm selling a group of Yorkshire Terriers to a fucking butcher. <laughs> Extreme Elk Solutions. Do you have elk problems? All right, uh, there we go. Problem solved, eh? We can also buy Protoceratops. Oh, that'd be cool. I want some animals. I want some dinosaurs, some tame dinosaurs that we could breed. Female, age 20. Male, age 13. Breed them together. That would be kind of cool. All right, what else have we got here? Uh, we could sell them Galatross leather. We could sell them Sauropod leather. Um, nothing really worth it. Dark Young Sap? Sweet sap squeezed from the orifice of one of the foul children of Shub Niggurath. Excuse me? You can milk dark ones. I don't, I don't want to think about that, and I also don't want to do that ever. Do I want to trade Yorkies for dinosaurs? I mean, that seems like such an obvious... Oh, man, they're kind of expensive. They're, nah, actually, fuck off. Just take my dogs. Goodbye, dogs. Nice knowing you. I was going to turn them into a free meal, but honestly, 500 silver is a lot more useful. Quite largely, it's having a heart attack. Easy come, easy go. At least I won't have to say that name too much. Are you all right? Heart attack painful. Go and rest. Rest, you weird man. You've got a heart attack. They pretty much say, hey, go and fucking lie down. Chill out. All right, somebody needs to treat this man. Donuts, treat this man. Fix his heart attack. Treatment failed. Debilitating heart... Failed. Success. There we go. Okay, problem solved. How much fucking medicine are we wasting on this guy? I'm sorry, you're, you're a great guy and all. That's all our medicine fucking gone. On this prick having a heart attack. I'm so annoyed. Why can't you do anything? Really? We haven't got anything left to do? Oh, because we've got no bamboo. Oh, I like the, I like the pair of uh, new Tyrannuses there. All right, then. Let's start moving in. Stockpile zone. Uh, this can just be a stockpile for everything right now, including food. We'll just refrigerate the whole goddamn thing. Um, critical. Uh, no rotten things. We don't. We don't want rotten things. Everything else is fine. Uh, no, 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 no rotten. Uh, and no insect corpses. No animal corpses are fine. No insect corpses. Everything else is good as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's get it done. Right, get rid of this old stockpile. Let's start hauling stuff over. Let's begin the moving. Why not? Let's get it all hauled over there. They're actually starting on it now. We could even get the bedroom set up. I mean, they haven't got floors, but that's a very minor inconvenience, I'd say. Um, I kind of want heaters and power over here, actually, before we really dedicate to moving in. Um, three components. I mean, that shouldn't take us too long to get, right? Like we put this. We put that there. All right, problem solved. There's one. Um, there's two. Three of them. That, seems, that would give us a, a decent amount of power, I think. Right, so let's get these mined as well. Have we got any more components kicking around on the map? Uh, we're kind of component starved right now. In the sense that there are absolutely none left. And we've, we've lost a lot of buildings over time. A lot of water mill generators, things like that. Just costing us more components in the long run. Alright, let's, let's forbid two of these. You know, let, let's forbid two of them. Let's just allow them to build that one. In fact, I might even go as far to cancel that one and that one. Let's just get one built for now. And then we'll worry about the rest later on. We at least need this refrigerating before we can completely move in there. Oh, look at them. They're all talking about stingrays and playing games together. That's nice. It's, re it's a really nice experience. Okay, um, we want to go power conduit. Let's put the batteries in the freezer, because honestly, why not? I mean, it's, it's fairly close. And then I've got to be kind of efficient with the power grid. So we'll go, like, because I don't have much steel. I kind of want to be careful with it. Um, it's going to be ugly, but I'm going to run that across there, which I'm not a big fan of. But, again, it's, it's saving steel. Either that or we'd have to go all the way around the back here, so... I think that's fine. There's a mod called Invisible Power Conduits, which I feel like I need to download so that I can run Power Conduits a bit more freely without having to worry about them looking hideous, because that's my big concern with them. Right, and then we can also uh, cancel this battery here and get this one... I don't want to reinstall it. I just want a whole other battery, but the issue is we haven't really got enough components for any of this shit. Ugh. We need fabrication as soon as possible. Like, we're really resource-starved on this map. Like, the deep driller plus fabrication, that, then we can actually start expanding. I've got to be very, very careful with our resources right now. Like, the colony itself, it's very, very comfortable. Everyone's so happy. Um, you know, downside to it is, like I said, resources are shit on this map. Kind of wish I'd have picked a better map in hindsight. The whole winters and lack of resources are really screwing us. So I'm starting the moving in here while we wait for the little bit of bamboo left to go. If we get all the heaters moved over, we'll get the battery moved over as well. Um, we can, and this should already be, ah, oh, it's, it's still kind of really warm in there, right? Reinstall that battery. We need some coolers as well. Man, we just don't have enough components for fucking anything. 
This is so bad. Um, right, get rid of that. We may have some heaters left over, at which point I could I could decommission some. So let's reinstall these beds as well, get them into the bedrooms. The heaters, I thought, were the, the most important thing to start off with, seeing as we're in permanent winter. Um, so we've got the five bedrooms we need for our colonists. So I'll do the beds just adjacent to the doors. They're all parallel to the doors there. Um, let's move. So we're not moving either of these two either. And we'll need a double bed for one of those rooms because of Donitz and Nick. No, Nick. Right, there we go. And let's get this one reinstalled as well. You guys can have the south room. For absolutely no reason, I'm going to be honest with you. Alright, there we go. And then we need... Uh, oh, one more bed. Which bed am I not reinstalling? Um, that one, that one's going, that one's... Go uh, how have we... Oh, right, there, there, yeah, there's six columns now. Shit. Okay, yeah, no, we do have enough bedrooms then. Because that's... Yeah, we got five bedrooms in between six people. Or two are sharing, right? That's fine. All right, there we go. Let's get this colony moved over. When the battery's over there, that's when we need to immediately move out. Because obviously this colony will be pretty pointless at that stage. Just delete that. Get this stuff hauled over as soon as we can. Uh, the color, the stockpile is working, so otherwise we'll get a notification over here basically saying that it's not enough. Frank Butcher needs some food. Why does Frank Butcher not just eat, like, the corn? Or the bamboo? It's been eating bamboo before. Frank Butcher, you big idiot. Alright, um, get this, get this rock out of the way. It's holding the door open. Somebody, somebody move this rock. Okay. Then, what else do we want to move over? We want to move the table over so that they don't immediately eat without a table and get, get very upset at that, because obviously they will. It's RimWorld. So we'll just sort of put that right in the middle of this room here. That could be the dining room. We need a bigger dining table, actually. We don't have enough, uh, we don't have nearly enough room on this one. Alright, and this is basically what I'm going to be doing for the next 40 minutes, so bear with me. Oh, fantastic. Just as we were almost completely moved out, toxic fallout. Great. Okay, so we'll worry about that in a second. I'll show you guys what has been happening in the world of Colony Throog. Throog's Redemption, or whatever the hell we call it. Uh, basically, it's very simple. We've got, obviously, this entrance to, seeing as we've got one major sort of chilled out storage room here, which, unfortunately, I can't actually chill out right now. So, I'm kind of shitting myself a little bit. Um, what could we deconstruct? Maybe to get, do, do heaters give components if we deconstruct them? This might be just a massive waste. Uh, they do not. Fuck. How am I supposed to build a freezer? We have no components. Game. You've screwed me royally. Um, wait, there was a bulk goods trader. There was a bulk goods trader. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Call them, call them, call them. Bring them up. What have they got? Uh, components. <gasps> they do. Um, here's the plan. Create stockpile. Storage. Clear all. Priority. Critical. Raw resources. Silver. Donuts. Haul silver. Donuts. No, 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 no. What we need to go is we need to go storage. No silver here. I'll remember to fix that and then I'll be annoyed that they won't be able to move the storage. Right, go, go ahead. Run, 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 run. No, no, no. You need to get that over there. Go, 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 go. Right. Okay. Ring them up, buy some components. How many do we want? Uh, components. As many as you, as many as we can afford, basically. Um, oh man, it's gonna be quite a few. I'm genuinely gonna buy as many as I'm gonna buy as many as they've got. And we also need two advanced components for Throog. Was it only two we needed for her cloning bay? We can rebuild her. We need medicine. I'm. A this could be so good. This could be so good. Components. Oh, quick, 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 stop the food running. Go, 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 work on it, work on it, work on it. What, what are you doing? What? Please. What do you mean we need material component? We've got fucking components right there. Recep haul them, haul them, haul them, haul them. Go, 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 go. No, 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 we need to stop pissing around here, otherwise we are actually all going to starve to death. Right, go. Yes. Oh, I was worried then for a second, but we're fine now. Okay, thank you, Bolt Goods Trader. You've actually just saved Colony, otherwise we would have been super fucked. Okay, Mad Ibex, though, could not give less of a shit. Hang on, no, 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 I could give less of a shit. Um... R run. Quite largely? Help me. Is it dead? Stab it. We're good. Alright, uh, finish it off as well. Okay, well that was worrying them for a second. Okay, allow all. I think we're good. Now, how many extra components have we got left over? Because we, we are going to need more than just one of these, unfortunately. We, we definitely aren't going to get enough power out of just one of them. Um, we can get three built, though. And they're quite well defended as well, because they're quite deep in the base. This is cool. Alright, um... Let's just run a big old cable along there, run a big old cable along there, and we should be good in terms of power. Let's deconstruct this old three. Again, massive waste of power, doesn't matter too much. Um, let's, oh damn, we have to read, build another one of these as well. I'm not a big fan of that, but okay, we don't really have a choice. Uh, let's get that one reinstalled. Let's move the trade beacon. This one we can reinstall, thank God. A little bit more efficient. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to move this into the freezer. We'll delete the stockpile and build it around this when it's done. Oh shit. That's bad. Um, right, very inconvenient, but it's the best I can do for now, unfortunately. It's the only way to keep it cool. 
Nine degrees. Come on, come on, come on, please, please, please. Pull my meals rock, please. How many have we got left? We've got 16 lavish, 52 fine, 47. And then the corn has also lasted quite well as well. We've got to be careful of the toxic fallout. That's one thing I've really got to keep in the back of my mind. Let's get these fucking rocks out of the base as well. There's so much to do. There's actually so much to do. I don't know why I do this all the time. Like, build a temporary base and then move it to a more permanent one. Probably convenience, I guess. All right, um... We can get another heater definitely in the actual main part of the base area, otherwise it's going to be kind of cold during the winter. I'll probably just build a lot of heaters and vents across the base to keep the temperature equal. Um, besides that, sun lamps, we need to uninstall those. Because we're just going to abandon this now, right? I think that's probably the best idea. Let's reinstall these in the dining area so they feel happy. Having statues around them as they eat their food. It's a really good idea. Uh, reinstall that over, like over here as well, I guess. Why not? Okay, this is fine. This is actually fine. I think we've got ourselves a nice new base. Not ideal. Can we, can we uninstall these? Oh, no. We can only deconstruct it, but the bees will die. Um, something for the future. Right. Let's get the balls moved out as well. I want to make sure everything is in the right place. Mad elk. Good. Just what I wanted to hear. All right. Get all of these in the right place, and then we can call it there for today. Where are the elk? They're everywhere. The, the cleaning bot. Sidini, rescue my son. Please, 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 that thing costs so much money. For the love of fucking God, kill it. Wait, where the... F oh, God. Also an elk. Ah. Also an elk. That one's not mad, though. Okay, you guys all need to fucking, like, squat up. Okay. Uh, Dave, get over here. Quite largely, get over here. Who, who else we got? Donitz, get over here. Nick, get over here. You need to come and help. Oh, this is dangerous. We're fine. We're good. We're okay. Not a problem. Wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Okay, I'll uh, finish him off as well. We're eating elk tonight, my friends. And everybody's going to be fine, except those are just bruises, right? There's nothing to worry about that. Okay, now you are actually kind of fucked. Um, Donitz, why are you butchering rather than tending? I have to ask these questions, because honestly, you just seem to have a mind of your own. Even though doctoring is clearly priority one for you, and cooking is also priority one, but lower down the list. I... I honestly don't understand this game sometimes. Anyway, that should be good. We need to watch out for the toxic buildup, because that's actually kind of screwing us a little bit here. Um... Okay, we've got initial, none, initial, initial, none, initial. Right, let's be careful. Um, yeah, I've got to be very careful with this, haven't I? That's fine, though. We'll leave it there. This is good. This is progress. There's a lot of progress, actually. Look at this. We've almost got our base set up. I want to get this kill box done as soon as possible, though, because that's definitely leaving us fairly undefended. We'll get the lab moved out. Then we'll get... Oh, we need to reinstall the cleaning bot as well before I forget. Let's get, let's get you just put in the base. Um, let's put him there. Problem solved. This could be a research room temporarily. This could be a living area, but we can sort of turn this into a living area. Thank you for watching. Big shout out to my insane top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Arik, Lucas Salting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Woodman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspired C, Necrofilm, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcs Wolf, Josh Lindy and Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and... I am the Lizard King. For the support of the insane tier levels on Patreon, thank you all for your support. And to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Facuna Vasquez, Quet Lutchley, the man himself, Brandon Wintoniak, Paul Master, Evergreen, his waifu, Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick, Sidini, Asaro, Jack Allen, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Yoran DeVries, Don Connie, 2 and 7, Nathan Flores, and many, many others. Thank you for your support as well. Interesting. Good day, I think. A long episode as well. I need to cut some of this down, otherwise it can take me hours to upload.